styles of offenses, and, and you've got a really talented defense in Weber State, and of course we know about this triple option attack, which we'll see uh, this afternoon. And on this return uh, for the uh, Wildcats of Weber State is Daniel Wright, the five foot nine, two hundred pound junior, and off we go. And of course, who started last week against Wofford. Now going to run triple option, keeping the football, Jonathan Murphy, second level, and a whole lot more. Murphy finally upended at the 41-yard line. Now the 37-yard line, that line to make is the 32 for quarterback Jonathan Murphy. Murphy will keep the football, and he's got a first down. So Murphy again, these triple option. Murphy. Murphy. Going to keep that play alive and firing that throw that's incomplete. Weber State had excellent coverage there. 41 yards away from the left hash for Robertson. Does he have enough leg? Yeah, he does to split the upright together. Last week against Wofford had four tackles for loss. Five wide receivers with the empty look. Constantine trying to keep that play alive. Completes that check down. Strong move. First down, David Ames. Falls, Idaho. Skyline High School off that play fake. That quick pitch and catch is hauled in. And second first down of this possession now. Blitz coming. Constantine going to float that throw. And that's a terrific grab by Devin Cooley. Cooley made the catch as he ran free over the top of Bryson Perry. Camarillo, California. Back to the ground game. Zone read. Josh Davis with speed outside the numbers. Finally got upended at the six-yard line. But the offense kind of uh, overpowers him. Third and goal. Constantine on that roll right. Constantine threw the football away. I think he stepped out of bounds before he threw the football. We'll see. For Tuttle, 24 yards from the left hash officially. Operation is clean inside the left upright. Trey Tuttle has tied it up. Field goals are full triple option attack. Looking to third and three. Murphy with that late pitch. That's Shaq Terry. And he's got a first down before he gets knocked out at the 28 yard line. He with his triple option. Third and six now for Jonathan Murphy. Murphy with a late pitch with room outside the numbers. Big play, TJ Reed. First down. How about the decision? Jonathan Murphy. Murphy going to keep the football. I think he got it. He yeah, he got there it. with that late surge. First down, absolutely. Well, how Back. And uh, get that extra yard. Now again, run that inside jet sweep. Excellent run by T.J. Reed. Airs here. All right, this is a third and seven. Murphy, late pitch. Rex Steiner got the first down with speed as he worked outside the numbers and got beyond the sticks near the 20-yard line. Now Murphy's going to line up out of the gun. And start that misdirection with a late pitch. Ooh, big time hit. Oh, that late pitch off misdirection to Kyle Glover. From an eye quick control standpoint. Look at the tight formation there. But again, the ability to run horizontally. Not able to get Jonathan Murphy on the ground. Touchdown, Murphy, Kennesaw State. Smith, the running back offset. Constantine going to fire that dig. That's hauled in by Devin Cooley. Big time throw on that dig run into the middle of the football field route and Cooley made the grab. A sophomore out of Los Angeles, California. Constantine off the play fake. Gonna throw that out. That's hauled in. What a beautiful throw off that great play action. David Ames with his fifth catch. Constantine gonna throw it zone. He's got Cooley made the grab. Touchdown, Weber State, Devin Cooley. You, you think they might have to put it up here. Murphy will keep the football. Jonathan Murphy. Look at the electricity in his game to the 45-yard line. Jordan, my goodness. Now Weber State had him at third and nine. Now Murphy again with that late pitch. Big time play again, explosion play as T.J. Reed got the quarter turn. And the Owls of Kennesaw State, Murphy, through that crease, second level and a whole lot more. 
Jonathan Murphy, 17 more yards. Big discipline, tough to do. This quick pitch, Rex Steiner got the edge. Bronson Rex Steiner with speed inside the 10 to the six yard line. Third and goal. Murphy look at Ed zone. Then a float that throw. It is hauled in in traffic. Touchdown, Kennesaw State making the grab. They're outstanding. Versatile back, TJ Reed. Back with an opportunity to probably milk this clock. And uh, Doug Little's going to throw the football. It is hauled in. First down. That was caught by George Tarlis. The second gadget play <laughs> that head coach Jay Hill has brought out for Weber State to keep a drive alive. Now down just a little bit on that ensuing play. Now Constantine on second and short. Triggers that throw to the omnipresent David Ames. David Ames, his sixth catch of the first half. He has been a nightmare <laughs> with no answers from the Kennesaw State secondary for Ames. Oh, no. And Weber State is at the 22. He's going to throw that screen. Just never had a chance of materializing. That'll be attempted from 45 yards out. And Trey Tuttle hit that straight and true through the uprights to get off the football field. Showing blitz. Quick pitch, Rex Steiner. Football's loose. Still loose. Weber State with the pickup. Adam Rodriguez. Touchdown. Weber State. Wildcats. And the pitch is fine. No, actually, it's a little bit in front. Excuse me. But Rex Steiner's just got to get on that football. Who was a very efficient in the first half. On that second down throw on that check down, he's got Devin Cooley. And Cooley very close to picking up the first down. He's just picking and choosing where they want to throw the ball with, with zone coverage. Now that quick throw off the jet sweep action. And that's hauled in again by David Ames. This is David Ames. And yeah, that's going to be down with the ground, not able to cause the fumble. And this is second down and eight for Jake Constantine. Off play action. That throw is deflected. And Devin Cooley hauled it in for the sophomore from Los Angeles. This football just sails on Constantine and it should have been picked off. On level at the two yard line. This is second at goal and this is Josh Davis. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Davis and Weber State. Now Murphy to put it up. In trouble and down he goes. Away from what got you here. On third and 11. Off the jet sweep influence again and Tarlis just drilled. The quarterback, Jonathan Murphy, for a loss. Back-to-back -back stops and three and outs. Tarlis the hit there. One, they did snap. Oh, my goodness. Murphy, pressure coming. Jonathan Murphy, his throw is hauled in by Bronson Rick Steiner, but it's going to come up eight yards shy of the first down. The third consecutive stop for the Weber State defense. That's four, Jake Constantine. Blitz coming. He got picked off and then Nearly dropped. Picked off. It was in the hands. You have two guys here converging on the football. And it's, oh, that's a pick six waiting to happen for quarterback Jonathan Murphy. Murphy wants to put it up. Now Murphy will use the legs. He's got the first down to the 34 yard line. Get down an eight. Murphy out of the gun. Murphy late pitch Got a flag probably gonna be a hold but that no, late Michael. pitch to Kevin Ficklin Kavika come in personal, personal foul. foul targeting defense 92. Stand or they'll, they'll, they'll take the penalty away Ogden, Utah in the fourth quarter I'm gonna go jet sweep I had to get to the edge Still alive strong run for Adulu Adeleke, Murphy on that triple option. He got taken down again from 37 yards away in the middle of the uprights. A lot of leg, Robinson, perfect to bring Kennesaw State back to within six. You don't want to turn the ball over to Kennesaw. Nearly did last drive. Constantine going to put it up. He could unload deep middle. He got picked off. 
Turnover was just sent by my yep. partner. There it is. The interception out of 12. The line to make is a 29. This is Jonathan Murphy. A lot of pressure. Murphy got set. Defensive coordinator. He calls the plays. He, he implemented the system. And credit to the halftime adjustments. They came out in the second half with a much improved attitude, the intensity, the effort from the Wildcats. Was fan and just see the respect there for, from Coach Bohan. And what a season. What a season for, for Kennesaw State. And Weaver State's going to advance.